Hey guys! So today I'm going to be talking to you about 2017. So Christmas is almost here. I'm hoping this video is getting uploaded before Christmas. And I feel like after Christmas, like stuff gets, like before Christmas, you know, like you're having fun and you're kind of stressing out, but you're also having fun. And then after Christmas, things get really serious because the New Year's right around the corner. And for me, the New Year has always been a time where I've kind of gone back and evaluated my life and the things that I need to change and the things that I want to make better and the things that I want to do. And then I start to feel bad about like the fact that they haven't happened yet or certain things that I want for my life aren't there. So every year I generally come up with resolutions which you really don't have to wait until January to do anything like this. You can do it all the time. You should actually be doing it all of the time. But New Year's tends to be like the really big, like you go deep and you just do it. <laughs> Back to the resolution thing. I've made resolutions in the past and I just, I don't think resolutions work. So this year I'm making goals, which I realize are pretty much the exact same thing as resolutions, but I like the word better and I like the concept. Resolutions seems like, when I think resolution, I think complete life change. Goals, I'm focusing on like one point and then like there's this one point and then there's steps to get to that one point and resolution, I just feel like it's complete life change. So. To plan your goals for 2017, I have a few tips. I have done thorough research on setting goals and achieving goals like consistently through the last nine months. I've pretty much had a goal baby in the last nine months. So I wanted to share some of them with you because I wanted to be helpful. So the first thing that you should do and my first tip is to know what your goal is. So you're gonna have to sit down, you're gonna have to think about this and what it is. And on top of that, once you figure out what your goal is, you're gonna have to figure out why you want that, how you're going to feel when you achieve that goal, and how you can feel that way now. Because if you feel that way now, or you start to feel that way, you'll build up and it'll be it's like motivation to achieve it. So I'm going to give you an example with one of my goals. So one of the goals that I have is a savings goal of $1,200. So why do I want this? I mean, <laughs> this is actually one of the harder goals to answer, but I sat down and I thought about why I wanted it. I want to be responsible. I want to be fiscally prepared. I want to feel secure and comfortable with my finances so I'm gonna build savings it's like you know being an adult it sucks so much being an adult but you have to do it and savings is a good way to start so how will you feel when you reach it I said it would make me feel responsible and better prepared and more secure and then how can I feel that way now by meeting my savings goal every month by saving every month and sticking to my budget I will feel those things now and then at the end of the year, so like fast forward to Jan to December 2017, when I have my $1,200, I'll feel even better. The second thing you need to do when you are making your goals is having an action plan. How are you going to achieve that goal? What can you do weekly? What can you do daily? And who can help you achieve it? So plan, don't just have a goal. You have, to, you have to have an action plan to achieve this goal. What are things that you can be doing that will help you achieve the goal? You should always be doing something that will get you to your end result. One of my other goals this year is to spend time with God every day. So, things that I can do to achieve this goal. On a daily basis, I can spend time in prayer. I can read a daily devotional. I can just read the Bible. I can listen to worship music. There are plenty of things that I can do to achieve that goal every day. And then weekly, I can attend a small group. I can attend a church service. I can listen to podcasts. There are a million things that I can do. And I definitely have a more detailed action plan than that, but I might do that in another video. 
basically, long story short, make your action plan. What's your goal? How are you going to achieve it? Number three, think about your routines and how your goal will fit into them. So it kind of goes along with the spending time with God every day. How will that fit into my routines? Well, in the morning I can wake up and do a devotional. At night I can pray before I go to bed. Those are fitting into my morning and night routines. Another goal of mine for this year is to learn how to watercolor. So that can fit into my routines because I can use watercoloring out of my planner. I've actually sort of started to experiment a little bit with it and I can just have more fun in my planner using watercolor and I can use it as my, for my me time every week, I can do watercolor instead of, I don't know, binge watching once upon a time. You know, these are decisions you have to think about and make and be committed to. Alright, and then my last tip is to make a deadline and set aside a certain time where you will go back and evaluate your progress on the goal and make any changes. You're going to have to be flexible because as you go along, you're going to adapt it. Your life is going to change. You don't know what's going to happen. Maybe the way that you plan on doing your goal today won't be, you won't be successful. You might not be successful at it is a better way to say that. So maybe the way that you have planned on achieving your goal now, you won't be successful at or something will change that will make it in, incompatible with your life. So you're going to, I suggest, at least halfway before your deadline to go back, but maybe every, you know, every month, every few months, go back and look at how you're going, how you're doing, achieving your goals. Set many deadlines. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, but you have to make yourself accountable, and that will go back to who can help you achieve that goal. Because you have people helping you, you have people who are holding you accountable, and accountability is everything. Because when you feel like you have to do something, you're more likely to do, more likely to do it. Whew. That got really intense. <laughs> but I am done now. I hope that this helped you guys. Somehow, maybe, hopefully. I know that finding out this stuff has helped me set my goals and evaluate my life. And think about really what it means to set a goal. And to achieve a goal. So, anyway... Yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you will see all of the videos that I have coming out because I'm pretty much done with Vlogmas. This is coming out within the last five days, four days. This is coming out in the end of Vlogmas. So I just did 25 days of videos that you just missed out on because you didn't subscribe. But I have more videos coming out. I have a list of video ideas and then I have a bunch of video ideas I haven't even written down yet. So things are about to happen and I also have a bunch of ideas and video and I have a bunch of videos planned about, you know, like planning and organization and goals achieval and life advice. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Please tell me that makes sense. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Ooh, that was sparity and jazzy. So savings, I can make a monthly budget and stick to that budget every day. So don't go off Rachel and spend like $6 on a milkshake because I've been known to do that. I am crazy. Like I'm a weak sucker for fast food and junk food and frivolous spending like that. So by rating myself in, I'm doing something every day by having self-control, not spending money. And I'm doing something every week. I don't freaking know what I'm doing every week for that. <laughs>